Okay, Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Let's go really quick to how to reset this smartphone in case that uh, it is asking you a password, pattern, or PIN and you have forgotten those credentials. So uh, the phone must be powered off and just in case that um, the, your phone requires a password to power down. So let's go really quick. I'm gonna show you the first step. The first, if the phone um, let you power down and a second option if it won't let you power down the other one is just let the phone restart so that I'm going to show you also how to do that the first option is with the phone power down you're going to press the volume up and power key I'm going to hold these two buttons together volume up and power and as soon as the Samsung logo appears release only the power key but continue holding volume up and then um, a recovery menu with blue letters is going to appear on the screen then release the volume app okay okay the second option is if you are trying to power down your phone this is what it does power off and then require, require a password so right here in this page when it requires a password I want to press volume down and power key the phone will uh, the screen will go off trying the phone to restart and as soon as the phone goes black then i'm gonna press volume up and power key um, and then as soon as the samsung logo appears i'm gonna release the power key and continue holding volume up when the recovery menu appears on the screen and then i'm gonna um, release the volume up okay so i'm gonna do it this way i'm gonna power down the phone I'm gonna try to restart it, volume down and power. The screen will go off in a couple of seconds. Press volume up and power key, release power key. There you go, release volume up. Okay, so in case that the first time it didn't work for you, don't worry about it, just power down. I mean, uh, uh, just uh, let the phone uh, reboot or restart and try power down let the phone ask you for the passcode press volume down and power key and as soon as the uh, screen goes off immediately switch press volume up and power key because you're gonna be pressing volume down and power release completely and press completely volume up and power key okay when Samsung logo appears immediately release the power key and continue holding volume up and wait for the recovery menu okay so now uh, this is gonna i'm gonna be gonna press volume down to uh, navigate and uh, select the following wipe data factory reset the one two three four the fifth option okay so the fifth option appears on the screen and then use your power key to confirm that this is what you want to do and uh, volume down to volume down to highlight factory data reset so I'm gonna go really quick so this they see this is basically a factory reset so everything on the in phone's internal memory gonna be a delete like pictures videos contacts any documents in the internal mem internal memory if you have a external memory card you can go ahead and remove it right now so uh, anything that you have in that external memory card will be a uh, saved okay and if you want to format the memory card then just leave it on okay um, and um, it is also very very important that you know your google account associated with the phone right now because after the factory reset you will have to confirm or verify google um, to continue and um, get to the home screen if you are not able or you fail to confirm google your phone basically will be blocked permanently so be careful with that uh, you can go to a computer or any other device that you haven't logged into your uh, email at all and start and, and log in with your email and so make sure that you have the right password I have users on my channel saying that they are for sure that they have the right password but I, somehow uh, they don't let let uh, they don't uh, Google it says uh, it is a wrong password so 
um, to avoid that make sure that you go and use your email and password if not just reset it okay all right so once you are ready once you touch the power key to confirm factory data reset there's no way to go back everything is going to be deleted on your phone and you have to have your google account to verify okay right so press the power key to confirm if you agree with this and um so here at the bottom of the screen you're gonna say wipe data cache uh, metadata and uh, when it is done automatically reboot system now appears at the bottom at the top of the screen so just press the power key when when reboot system now is highlighted automatically and uh, let's wait for our uh, signal or option to um to reboot uh, our phone okay it's going to take a few minutes five to ten uh, minutes if it is it takes longer than that that means something is wrong with it and so right here it says uh five minutes to complete please wait okay so just uh Just wait for uh, five minutes. In case that some um, e track phone gets stuck on the screen, or Samsung logo gets stuck on the screen, or just goes back and uh, for back and on and off, then that means something is gone. Don't worry about it. Just um, press volume down and power key, just like you are rebooting your phone, and press the uh, volume up and power key. As soon as the Samsung appears and then uh, release power key as just as we did at the beginning of this video and um, so you can perform uh, repeat the pre procedure okay uh, procedure repeat it up to five eight ten to twenty times sometimes you need to calibrate motherboard sometimes it has a lot of information like uh, music applications or game applications and and um, such as the, the the motherboard needs to get calibrated so that's that's the way you can do it so make a phone work uh, properly all right so we are on the initial setup screen so let's go and touch here you can choose uh, any other languages that you would like to use on your phone and uh, choose the right one and hit ok and then um, you want to see our welcome page and then uh, start touch the start option uh, agree to all actually you have to agree and then agree and uh, here leave everything on as it show on the screen more and agree and now at this point you have to register a Wi-Fi or you have an active SIM card from your carrier just insert it on the phone so you can uh, have data to verify and confirm Google uh, for now, I'm gonna skip this option, uh, so I don't have anything registered on the phone yet. So I copy apps and data. You already have another Samsung uh, Galaxy smartphone. You can uh, activate um, Bluetooth and uh, transfer your data from that phone to your new phone. Um, if you want to, just go next and follow the steps. If not, just don't do it. All right, uh, date and time. Select your time zone date. You can choose a month, uh, choose a late one, choose OK. Uh, it's going to save time. Uh, you can choose your time, minutes, AM or PM. Hit OK. And hit next to save and continue. Uh, Google services, I highly recommend you to leave it as it as, as appears on the screen. Accept. Uh, protect your phone with password, parent, or pin. You can do this now, or you can do it once you get to the home screen. So uh, for now, I'm gonna skip this step, anyways. Okay, uh, recommended app. Uh, I don't recommend my sites. Okay, but it's up to you. You want to have it. Uh, weather. I'm gonna leave that. I like weather. Weather app, and you can. Uh, create a Samsung account. If you already have an existing one, just go ahead and uh, register or sign in. Track phone, accept and continue, and then we finish. We all set up. Okay. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching my video. Let me know in, in comments if you have any questions. Please subscribe and uh, leave your like. Thanks so much.